Most Influential Nelson Mandela Quotes Real leaders must be ready to sacrifice all for the freedom of their people. A fundamental concern for others in our individual and community lives would go a long way in making the world the better place we so passionately dreamt of. Resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping it will kill your enemies. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Everyone can rise above their circumstances and achieve success if they are dedicated to and passionate about what they do. I like friends who have independent minds because they tend to make you see problems from all angles. It always seems impossible until it's done. Many people in this country have paid the price before me and many will pay the price after me. Do not judge me by my successes, judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. Money won't create success, the freedom to make it will. It is in the character of growth that we should learn from both pleasant and unpleasant experiences. It is not our diversity which divides us, it is not our ethnicity, or religion, or culture that divides us. Since we have achieved our freedom, there can only be one division amongst us, between those who cherish democracy and those who do not. For to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. Live life as though nobody is watching, and express yourself as though everyone is listening. One of the most difficult things is not to change society, but to change yourself. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Difficulties break some men but make others. No axe is sharp enough to cut the soul of a sinner who keeps on trying, one armed with the hope that he will rise even in the end. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. When a man is denied the right to live the life he believes in, he has no choice but to become an outlaw. If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. Part of being optimistic is keeping one's head pointed toward the sun, one's feet moving forward. There were many dark moments when my faith in humanity was sorely tested, but I would not and could not give myself up to despair. That way lays defeat and death. If you want to make peace with your enemy, you have to work with your enemy. Then he becomes your partner. There is no passion to be found playing small, in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. We must use time wisely and forever realize that the time is always ripe to do right. Man's goodness is a flame that can be hidden but never extinguished. No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin, or his background, or his religion. People must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love, for love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. When people are determined they can overcome anything. What counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. I never lose. I either win or learn. Forgiveness liberates the soul. It removes fear. That is why it is such a powerful weapon. 
There can be no greater gift than that of giving one's time and energy to help others without expecting anything in return. It is what we make out of what we have, not what we are given, that separates one person from another. Lead from the back, and let others believe they are in front. Fools multiply when wise men are silent. You can start changing our world for the better daily, no matter how small the action. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. May your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. The greatest glory in living is not in falling, but in rising every time we fall. A good head and a good heart are always a formidable combination. While poverty persists, there is no true freedom. After climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. As I walked out the door toward the gate that would lead to my freedom, I knew if I didn't leave my bitterness and hatred behind, I'd still be in prison. I am not a saint, unless you think of a saint as a sinner who keeps on trying. A leader, dot is like a shepherd. He stays behind the flock, letting the nimblest go out ahead, whereupon the others follow, not realizing that all along they are being directed from behind. It is said that no one truly knows a nation until one has been inside its jails. Where you stand depends on where you sit. A nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens, but its lowest ones. One of the things I learned when I was negotiating was that until I changed myself, I could not change others. Appearances matter, and remember to smile. And if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. Sometimes, it falls upon a generation to be great. You can be that great generation. Let your greatness blossom. Poverty is not an accident. Like slavery and apartheid, it is man-made and can be removed by the actions of human beings. We know too well that our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of the Palestinians. Overcoming poverty is not a gesture of charity, it is an act of justice. Part of being optimistic is keeping one's head pointed toward the sun, one's feet moving forward. We commit ourselves to the construction of a complete, just, and lasting peace. It is what we make out of what we have given, not what we are given, that separates one person from another. No single person can liberate a country. You can only liberate a country if you act as a collective. Action without vision is only passing time. Vision without action is merely daydreaming, but vision with action can change the world. If you want the cooperation of humans around you, you must make them feel they are important, and you do that by being genuine and humble. We need to exert ourselves that much more and break out of the vicious cycle of dependence imposed on us by the financially powerful those in command of immense market power and those who dare to fashion the world in their own image. Courageous people do not fear forgiving, for the sake of peace. When people are determined they can overcome anything. Let there be work, bread, water, and salt for all. In my country, we go to prison first and then become president. Never, never and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another. There is no easy walk to freedom anywhere. As long as poverty, injustice and gross inequality persist in our world, none of us can truly rest.
people respond in accordance to how you treat them. To deny people their human rights is to deny their very humanity. Without education, your children can never really meet the challenges they will face. So it's very important to give children education and expl explain that they should play a role for their country. I dream of the realization of the unity of Africa, whereby its leaders combine in their efforts to solve the problems of this continent. I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an ideal which I hope to live and to achieve. But if needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. Give a child love, laughter, and peace. There is nothing I fear more than waking up without a program that will help me bring a little happiness to those with no resources, those who are poor, illiterate, and written with terminal disease. We can change the world and make it a better place. It is in your hands to make a difference. The struggle is my life. I will continue fighting for freedom until the end of my days. If I had my time over I would do the same again. So would any man who dares call himself a man. During my lifetime I have dedicated myself to this struggle of the African people. I have fought against white domination, and I have fought against black domination. I have never regarded any man as my superior, either in my life outside or inside prison. I am not less life-loving than you are. But I cannot sell my birthright nor am I prepared to sell the birthright of the people to be free. Since my release, I have become more convinced than ever that the real makers of history are the ordinary men and women of our country. Their participation in every decision about the future is the only guarantee of true democracy and freedom. A critical, independent, and investigative press is the lifeblood of any democracy. The press must be free from state interference. It must have the economic strength to stand up to the blandishments of government officials. It must have sufficient independence from vested interests to be bold and inquiring without fear or favor. It must enjoy the protection of the Constitution so that it can protect our rights as citizens. Death is something inevitable. When a man has done what he considers to be his duty to his people and his country, he can rest in peace. I believe I have made that effort and that is, therefore, why I will sleep for the eternity. Man's goodness is a flame that can be hidden but never extinguished. It is in the character of growth that we should learn from both pleasant and unpleasant experiences. There is nothing like returning to a place that remains unchanged to find the ways in which you yourself have altered. I can't help it if the ladies take note of me. I am not going to protest. <laughs>